So here I am on the 14th tee at Ledge Rock Golf Club, and we're gonna talk a little bit about post-shot routines. And I did say that correctly, post-shot routines. Uh, we've heard a lot about pre-shot routines. And uh, if you got to watch the Ryder Cup at all, you saw a lot of post-shot routines and reactions after shots. So what we're looking for is something after good shots that helps us remember that feeling and internalize that feeling so that we can produce good shots in the future. Uh, if we hit poor shots, Okay, what we want to do is rehearse maybe what we could have done better. We say something to ourselves that's uh, factual about the shot, like I pulled it, I pushed it, I hit it fat. It can't be something like I stink at golf or I always hit it fat. Okay, what we're looking for is we're looking to separate that shot from what we did and learn from mistakes. Uh, I got to learn about this a lot from uh, James Seekman when he came and did some short game schools at our club. Uh, and there's a lot of good information out there about post-shot routines, but a good post-shot routine, if I'm setting up to the tee here, I hit a good shot, you see a lot of club twirls, you know, that will be a good post-shot routine. You know, a little fist pump, it doesn't have to be a Patrick Reed, you know, big time, you know, taunting the other, the opponent. It just has to be something that makes you feel good so that you can remember that shot. Poor shots would be, okay, I hit a poor shot here, maybe a poor shot for me in this hole is if I pull it a little and it hits the bank and kicks into the water. Okay, what I'm going to do then is maybe feel, okay, I know for me that I just get the club a little shut on my backswing, so maybe I rehearse the face opening a couple times, and then I forget it, and I move on so that I'm learning something from a mistake that I made. So try to incorporate a post-shot routine into your game, and I think you'll like the results.